Hi everyone, it's Linda from Linda Z's in Arlington Heights, Illinois, and we have a phenomenal video for you today. We have Sandra Swick, and more importantly, we have my daughter Debbie, whose birthday is today. She's oh, it gonna is? tell me <laughs> that oh, it's her birthday. That's right. <laughs> so we're oh, gonna... actually it was yesterday, if no. it's Thursday. Oh, that's right. Oh, we're <laughs> filming this one day early. So um, the December first is her birthday for future. And we are going to now take a little run and I'm gonna go up to the front of the room and interview Sandra and talk about all the different things that are going on. I also have another daughter who yeah, doesn't come on really want. She's here to Let's celebrate give, too. Right this, this is Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> and Tracy is here to um, see this event too. Any words of wisdom you have? Yes, yeah, she's got uh, all kinds of words of wisdom. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, I would say come to our open house, please. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. We already have had two and they've been huge successes and yeah. Debbie and I have been giving away a ton of free gifts. Yes we have. We love that part. <laughs> yeah. And you, you do have to be there to win those oh, yeah. free gifts. And they, and so. they were sticking around to they the were end. Sticking yeah, around. That was really fun. <laughs> they were sticking around. Deb Debbie's got some uh, good sales. We got some good sales yeah. in up our sleeve. Oh, so yeah. come and check it out. All the packages now, are great for all the machines. There's one special gift that a very special guest who is here today, and you're going to see him in a few minutes, is giving to all of you, one person, one lucky person is going to win that. On Friday, December On Friday, 3rd. and you don't have to be here for right. that. You just have to sign on the website. So you'll you'll hear how to do that. And we have so, forms, at the physical yeah, forms at the right, store too. Right, yeah. okay. So we're um, going to go up to the front, and we're going to talk to Sandra and show you what's going on behind us. So we wanted to show our customers and people that are watching our YouTube what you are doing. We think it is just fabulous. Diane, I think that's just wonderful what you did there. I really mean that. Really, really cool. And I've seen a couple of you have got the ruffle gathered and everything. These are some really wonderful techniques. And we'd like to let people know that a serger is not a scary machine, <laughs> right? How many felt a little scared of the machine when you first came in? Anybody? A little bit? A little nervous? Yeah. Because, you know, you have a lot of threads and you think, oh my gosh, what can go wrong? And we did have somebody, um, I guess, break a, a blade, which we never have never in the whole time. That was you? <laughs> did you break that here today? Oh, no. I think this was yesterday. Um, I've never broken a blade in the whole time that I've used a serger, so it's very unusual. It's usually pulling and tugging or something that, you know, you're not used to. And that's okay. If you're going to make a mistake, this is the way. This is the place is to place. make it. Yep. <laughs> and what is a mistake? Oh, I love it. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> she knows that very well, right? Your students very definitely. Jane, is, if you don't know Jane Hunt, she has done that gorgeous Christmas quilt over there. Um, you've got to see it when you walk out because it's really wonderful. Am I being I taped right using, now? I always use the long arm that's done by Debbie. Well, and see, that's a wonderful, the two of you together. That was a beautiful, I just... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, and you know what we're talking about over there? It's a Christmas quilt that is a tree. It's a tree. It could be for any time of the year, really. But it's just wonderful. I just love the colors you put together and... Now you made a, a kit, didn't it's you, Debbie? Kit. Okay, and we should show that because anytime I talk about a kit in our videos, everybody around us wants to uh, have what it is. And our kits, we don't make a lot of them because we want them to be unique. Mary's got one here. And Mary, as you know, is our wonderful serger expert who is uh, today showing, did any of you get a chance to work with her and see those decorative threads? Yes. I hope you're using them. I um, I did grab the red, the silver, and the, and the green. <laughs> so if you're missing those colors, because I knew we were gonna have a little sale on it. But these are, this is the kit Debbie put together and Jane, and I just think it's wonderful. I really mean that. you. The, Jane works with Debbie quite often, the two of them. Jane will come and she'll put this, new technique together and she'll say, okay, Debbie, what do you think of this? And Debbie always goes, oh, wow, let's have a <laughs> class. <laughs> so you'll see a lot of classes that are built on really some wonderful original ideas. Now, <clears throat> this, there's another quilt here that I want to show you, but since this is a serger uh, event with Sandra Swick, and Sandra has been, 
on our videos our Thursday morning. And usually we like to interview you and show you, but I know you don't have a lot of time to do that today. <laughs> but Sandra has been a phenomenal teacher. We have had her back here as much as we can. And she comes from all the way at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, Idaho, that would be the end of the world. <laughs> Coeur d'Alene, right? Yeah. Yeah, so a really, really beautiful town. And we're just thrilled that she's here. But there is a quilt that I put up on the top here. It's a kit that I had earlier. It was flannel, and maybe somebody can find it for me. It would be fabulously wonderful, quick, it. and easy to do on a serger. Oh, there it is. And I know you do quilting on a serger. I, I know Mary does. Debbie, can you tell us I'm a little making, bit about this? this Are you making this? Yes, I'm making this one for the short sample. So yeah, this is the old Christmas tree, old Christmas tree. And uh, it's got a large applique, it's 108 inches wide by 100 long. Mm -hmm. And so it's uh, the old Christmas tree twice is almost the width of the, the entire um, quilt. And so it's, uh, I've, already, I've already got the applique ready to go. So I thought I'd start with the hard part first because it wasn't that hard. It was pretty cool. Oh, sorry. I'm not speaking in the right mag micro. <laughs> Uh, microphone. Uh, thank you, Vanna. <laughs> I have my own personal Vanna, my mom. Um, so yeah, so it, I just, I thought that was so beautiful. Um, we decided to go with the gray uh, background and the white trees for the old Christmas trees, but they actually um, have the other version available. You can just get the white background and then do different uh, uh, greens for the trees. So like, like um, Linda was saying, the, the trees are made with uh, strips and you just uh, sew the strips together and, um, and that's the easiest part. Otherwise the top and the bottom are just one big piece of uh, fabric and then you get to quilt that to your heart's content. It's gonna be really fun to put that on the long yeah, arm and, and really uh, quilt that up cool. once that's done too. But I can see, Mary, you did um, a tree on the serger and I know you don't have it here now, but you, it was like a strip. It was, yes. it was quilt as you go almost really, yeah. wasn't it? And uh, you know, it, you would take different strips and she'd start out with a wide one. And this was a big quilt. And then she'd start out with a real wide piece and then continue on all the way up until you got to the top. And did you have more than one tree on there? Yeah, any straight line quilt can lend it. Any, 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 straight line, any straight line quilt can lend itself very nicely to the serger. Uh, up there is a log cabin quilt that was done on the serger. That one that Debbie just pointed to would be awesome for the serger. In fact, mm -hmm. it was done on a serger. Oh, look at this. This is just stunning. That's <clears throat> Sandra's. Yeah, it really is. Let's I just love back it. Because it's, it's the important part of serging is the seams, right? Yeah. Look at how flat. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. what people don't realize. How many here are really, really good and how many that are watching this video consider themselves to be more of an advanced quilter? Yeah, you should be. Two, three, four. <laughs> well, you are. <laughs> you, if those of you that are, have you, besides Jane, because I know you've tried this, have you done any quilting on a serger? You should try it. You absolutely will be experts. I mean that. You will be, because you're going to be more precise. Some people just kind of go through, and it, and it still turns out really well. But the people that really know quilting and are really precise quilters, the serger is a wonderful vehicle. And what it will do, is it'll get more quilts finished for you rather quickly. And it entices you to use different types of fabric. That's what I love about it. The color is just phenomenal. Nick, if we can kind of take a picture of the, the piece on their table. Well, here, Diana, maybe you can hold yours up. But all of you, could you hold yours up? Those of you that are doing it, and you can tell us. Um, yep, they're beautiful. What are they doing with this, Sandra? What Sandra's stitches? Right. Uh, so here we. Uh, so they uh, have been making plaid using all their cover stitches and the, and the chain stitch. So we've been sewing from the back of the fabric because we want the back side of the cover stitch that's filled in to show on the front. And everybody made up their own plaid. Everybody designed their own. And I took a picture of every single one so I could put them in my PowerPoint. Oh, oh that's great. Because they're so beautiful. Really cool. They're just really, really beautiful. And don't forget, for those of you who like to would like to piece on the serger, the three thread narrow that we're using right now is a perfect quarter inch seam. So 
Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can do precise piecing on your serger with the three thread narrow. The uh, Bernina quilt up here is done, is pieced with a three thread. The, um, I believe the log cabin. I look at this little quick. You might want to look at the back here. Yeah. That, I think that's a four yeah. thread, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that one with a four thread. Yeah. But. So we have some wonderful ideas for those of you that are quilters. Now, we have a guest in the house back there. I hope he didn't go away. Um, because we have a very special thing that we're going to do for our open house. And I wanted you all to know about it first. And everybody in this room, I want you to get your name in for this drawing. Because we have a very special thing that we're going to be able to um, give on Friday. We're going to draw names. Anybody that's online will be able to. And Nicholas, you can tell us the easiest way for them to do it. How do they do it? So it's on our website. And they scroll to the bottom, and it'll be a place there for you to enter your name so that you can go ahead. Because is uh, our very guest, our guest, because we want to <laughs> let him, allow, he's going to announce to you what we're giving. And you're um, gonna, it's more than a scissors. Linda, is that a flannel quilt? Um, yeah. Yes. So here's what's quilt. great about doing the, a flannel, a flannel quilt mm -hmm. on the um, overlocker. Is I made I've made several graduation quilts that are flannel because especially the guys they love the flannel. After about the tenth time they're washed, the seams start coming apart. It almost it's the fabric that's shredded, not the thread. Mm -hmm. So if you piece a flannel quilt on the overlocker, you've got the edges overcast. They're not going to fray on you, and you're not going to yeah. um, lose part of your block or have holes all over your quilt. Right. In, in 10 or 20 washings. And Jane? Well, Silk Dupiani yes, is also thing. great to yep. do on the surgery. And yep. I I think it's a cry and shame not to put Minky on the back of every baby quilt. Debbie, Debbie does that on the back of her quilt. <laughs> on her quilt. <laughs> and there's just nothing worse than sewing with Minky, but not on your serger because you can do the differential and iron that wave out and it takes care of all the fuzz for you. That's and just you amazing. just don't have it flying everywhere. You can even use it, not even put a back on it, yeah. because the edges are encased. Right, right. It'd be just phenomenal. Yeah. So we have a very special uh, guest in the audience today, uh, Mr. John Carr. Can you come up here from Bernina? He's a representative from Bernina who's here. And we were just told, thank you, John, for being here, that uh, everybody in this um, event and on our YouTube channel is going to have an opportunity to do what? Win what? Uh, a. Bernina! <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, thank what you, else do you want me to say, Linda? That's it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Are you having fun? They are having fun. Isn't that fabric cool that you made? <laughs> really something. If you use some of the red shades and a tan fabric, you can create your own Burberry fabric. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. 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 So, John, this machine that we're going to give away, we just told them how to do it. They go onto our website, scroll down to the bottom, enter their name, and then they have the opportunity to um, be one of the winners. And the odds are very good. This is free. We, you know, you don't have to pay anything for it. And we just hope somebody in this room will win it or somebody on our YouTube channel will win it. So everybody does. They can do that today, tomorrow. And what time on Friday? Later in the day, probably. Yeah. And we will post the winner so you'll know who is, it is that's won it. Who's feeling lucky in here today? Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, John, thank you. We, we oh, really appreciate that. Oh, that was great. Thanks, that. Linda. <laughs> he did thank a lot. Thank you for coming out. We really appreciate you spending time. Yeah. And, and I know they're, they're taking every precaution so you're safe. Yeah. And even she's been washing her hands every day, so I've been checking. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> what? Hey. Oh, thank you, John. And, you know, we just had a um, customer, the Smarenskis. I know I'm mutilating your name. I'm sorry about that. But they were just downstairs, and they came up and kind of peeked. They were going to come up. You may have seen the two of them. And they could not get over what you were. Is it this one? I'm using this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure which mic here, but at least you'll, you'll hear us. So they came up here to peek, and they didn't want to come up here because you guys were so intently 
working and listening to everything you were saying. This is a good, good class. They listened to their teacher. So um, <laughs> they ended up uh, getting a Bernina 79, which is sewing and embroidery. And she told me, which is why I do this, <clears throat> that she ended up getting this machine and doing this, um, she, you should see the gift she's making. And she's just, you know, not a real advanced sewer. Um, she's been sewing for quite a while, but she hasn't had a real good machine. That these videos on Thursday morning have been what have really kept her going. And they've really, she said, I just wanted, to, she, I was going to try and have her tell you, but they had to leave. And, you know, by the time we got finished here, they had to go. And so um, thank you very much, Amira, for saying that, because it really does. It's one of the reasons we do this. We want to have you bring your level of expertise of your sewing up. And that is happening to everybody in this room. You are all considered advanced in here. And I really mean that. You, When I asked who's advanced, maybe in certain areas, but I know many of you have been coming to events and seminars and those of you that are coming for the first time, it will not be long before you're right up here because you're really out there ready to have fun. And, and when you have fun and you're laughing a lot, and, and we will laugh the rest of the afternoon because we're going to have some really fun treats out here. Um, that's when you learn. It really is. You're relaxed. You're not sitting there, you know, uptight and too excited about, you know, making a mistake because as we said earlier, it's a learning experience. So, so. Ladies, what <clears throat> mode are you in on your serger right now? Here. No, what mode? Expert. Oh. They're all in expert <laughs> mode right now. So see, we do have a room full I'm of impressed. experts. <laughs> I'm very impressed. I really am. So come and join us on Friday. It is our wonderful time uh, to just give back to you. We're going to have a couple of those little candy dishes that everybody's asking about. We're going to be doing some demos on those again because I think a lot of you, uh, it's a very simple thing to do. You could take it as a hostess gift, and I will do it on the video, not this week, but next week, so you can see it. Um, I think it's sometimes it's easier when you see it in person, and then you can see it in a video. You'll, you'll have a real, I would say you could make one of those little candy hostess dishes in, uh, what do you think, half hour, 45 minutes at the very most. Weren't yeah, you Mary doing it? Yeah, not even that. I mean, for an advance. Right, right. And the special ruler is a triangle. I mean, you'll see it's really going to be fun. The, did I miss anything that we wanted to tell them? Anything yeah. else? We have a Kimberbell event coming up, Debbie. You are doing Sugar Plum, right? We have a Floriani event coming up that's really going to be fabulous. And those of you that are serger people, this is the first time that Floriani has ever done this. We are using the Bernina 890s in the Floriani event. Oh, so those cool. of you that are coming to the event, bring your machine. It's really going to be phenomenal. It's almost filled. Uh, it's going to be a whole, they, they designed this Floriani event just for us because they know that we do a lot with surging. Now we'll do embroidery too, but the surging part of it is just going to be spectacular. So a lot of things happening between now and the end of the month. And what is the end of the month? It's a busy time. <laughs> okay. All right. So thanks, everyone. Tonight. We um, certainly appreciate your following us on YouTube and on our channel. Thank you, everybody in this room, for spending time and uh, sharing your interest. Let's have a big round of applause for Sandra. Oh, <laughs>